Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can trigger one scenario through another. This is very useful when you have two scenarios and you want to trigger the second scenario when the execution of the first scenario ends. So let's see how it's done. As you can see, I have two scenarios. This is the first scenario where, it's, where it searches the rows from a Google Sheet, then aggregates the names from this Google Sheet into an array. Then we have the second scenario, which we're going to run when the execution of the first scenario ends. So let's see how it's done. First of all, we are going to add a custom webhook module. We'll just tap on this, select the webhooks, then custom webhook. And inside the custom webhook, we are going to add a new webhook. Let's call this test hook. Then we'll copy the URL from this webhook, click OK and then run the scenario. So it, as you can see, the webhook is loading and it will keep loading until it gets the data from the first scenario. So now we'll go into the first scenario and to trigger the second scenario through this scenario, we'll have to use the HTTP module. We're going to click on the HTTP module, click on make a request, then we'll add it to the end of the scenario. Inside the URL, we are going to paste the URL we copied from the custom webhook and just click OK. Now, when I run the scenario, as you can see, it ran successfully and the HTTP maker request showed us a code 200, which means that the request was successful. Now, if we go into the second scenario, you can see that it has been successfully triggered. So this is how you can trigger one scenario through another. But what if you want to trigger the second scenario with the data from the first scenario? You can also accomplish this by using the same technique. I'll just keep this second scenario running so that when the data is passed through it, it will trigger this custom webhook. Now, we'll go into the first scenario. And as you can see, we have this HTTP module which accepts request content. What we're going to do is we are going to convert the data we are getting from this set variable module into a JSON string. We can achieve this by using the JSON module transform to JSON. We can add this between the set variable and make a request modules. Then we'll select the object as array of names. After we do this, we'll go into the make a request HTTP module, select the body type as raw. Then the content type is JSON. Then we'll pass the JSON string right here. Now we've successfully configured our first scenario. And if I run this, you can see that it's, it's so showing us the status code 200, which means the data has been passed successfully. And if we go into the second scenario, you'll see that it, it has been successfully executed and triggered with the data from the first scenario. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. You can use this exact same setup in your existing scenario once you learn how to implement it. If you have any questions or ideas for future tutorials, please share them in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting automation tutorials. Thank you for joining us and happy automating.